G'day Smoke and Dagger fans. I'm standing in front of my brand new Texas style offset smoker. Done by a local company in Australia, west of Australia to be precise. Chili Smokers, famous for their drum smoker, but then they also branch out into these beautiful offset styles. With a reverse flow offset like this, we're gonna look at a variance from left to right of about 20 degrees Celsius. So it's really pivotal to have two temp probes to make sure you've got a good idea of what that variation is and adjust accordingly. Another really nice feature is this built-in tube steel grate. This is gonna help me just, you know, put down the tongs, maybe a beer or two. Just give me a bit of extra space when I'm getting into the pit and making my adjustments. So how do I get this thing moving? Well, we've got these heavy duty 250 kilogram caster wheels. So they're gonna enable me to move this thing on and off the trailer for competitions, as well as just make subtle adjustments in the backyard for those catering moments when you need to be the hero of the barbecue. So a highlight for me is this stainless steel cooking grate. Easy access for getting the meats on and off, fine tune adjustments for the layout, positioning for larger cuts of protein. So I'm quite proud of this firebox. As you can see, we've gone for a square box as opposed to your more, I guess, typical round design. And there's a couple of advantages to this, which I'll take you through now. First things first, how do we get the air in through the firebox? Easy access to the fire vents. Give me the flexibility to tune this up depending on weather conditions outside. Also, how hot do I want the cooking chamber? I've got all the flexibility I need with this really clever vent system. Need more air? No problem. Inside this firebox we've got a couple of goodies in here. A stainless steel cooking rack, which I'll show you how that comes together later. So we've added an ashtray, so this is a removable steel catcher and that's going to help just keep this firebox nice and tidy. Nice management for your fire. One of the cool other features is this hinge door system. So what you can see that they've done here is recessed the panel in there and created a direct access to the top of the firebox, suitable for direct flame cooking using the additional stainless steel grate. Placing that right on there gives me an additional cooking surface. Create a beautiful second cook or that chicken sear at the end. So what makes this offset special is this is a reverse flow offset barbecue. Reverse flow means your firebox producing the majority of your heat coming in, getting sucked into the main cooking chamber in a traditional offset, you're going to have your heat travel across the meat and up through the smokestack. You've got this inbuilt solid steel deflector plate. That's going to channel the heat up on top and then back through the cooking chamber so that your heat is then exiting up through the smokestack. So the smokestack up here is the same 6mm steel and this is really going to be your key point for all heat and smoke leaving your barbecue. We've got a 360 hinge rod system and a nice little top hat for keeping the weather, dust, or just any nasties out of your barbecue. And I think that's a nice little feature. So it's been a long journey for me to get to this stage of owning an offset barbecue, but I'm glad I'm here. The retail price for one of these is about 5,200 Australian dollars. And that's about $500 more than my first car. But I think I'm gonna get a lot of mileage out of this piece and hopefully it outlives me. Thick steel, good design, and just customization that allowed me to get the personal touches I wanted in my barbecue to last me for many decades to come.